Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part 21 of the e-commerce app playlist. And in this video, we're going to design the product details fragment. So let me show you that. As you can see, this is from the original app. And in here, we're only going to show all the details about that product. We show the images in a view pager. And we have this image indicator. Then we have the title, the price. We have a recycle review to show the colors same for sizes then we have this button to add this product into the cart so in this video we're only going to design this and in the next video we will implement it let's go ahead and create a new fragment and call it product details so inside the shopping package create a new class call this product details fragment and also create a new layout XML file for this fragment. Sorry, not this one. So this will be fragment details or product details. And now let's actually design this one. So we'll just hide the emulator and zoom this, go to split mode, hide this section. And first of all, we want this screen to be scrollable. That's why we need the parent layout, the parent layout to be an SS scroll view. And you need to add this one, fill viewport, make it true to make sure that this view will take the whole screen. Now let's actually design. So let's have good strength layout in here. And first of all, we want to design the images section. Let me show you that real quick. As you can see, here we have this section where we just show these images and this can be achieved by a view pager. So let's actually do that. Now let's put this inside the card. So card view and the width will be zero DB and for the height, give this 350 DB. We can change it later. Margin from the top 20 DB. We need to add corner radius to this card. So card corner radius give this 15 db and now we can add the constraints so start to the start of the parent into the end of the parent top to the top of the parent and as you can see because we are using a card view there's a little bit of elevation here so to cancel that we can say card elevation 0 db now the card looks just like our background now we close this card view and before that we need to have margin from the start uh, let's make it 10 db also margin from the end 10 db now inside this card view we will have our view pager view pager 2 and this will take match parent for both now you can close it and we can add an id for this one let's call it view pager product images and we also have a close icon at the top here, so when I add that, let's do it. So we can say image view like this image view. We can make this 50 dB and we can add padding then. So here, like that, we can add SRC. Let's go and add that icon. So in the drawable file, right click, new vector set, and you can find that in here in this list. Just search about close, you can find it in here and you can change the name. Now we can add that in here. I would like to change the color, so tint and make this G black. Now you can close this and as you can see you get an error here. To hide this error you just use ab in here. Now we want to push this image into its container, so we can say padding, we can say 20 dB. Uh, this was large value, let's give it 10, okay, this looks better now. And we can actually reduce this to 40, and then we can make this 15. Now this, or sorry, we can make this 5, not 15. Now this will look better now let's add an id for this one so let's go to so let's call it image close 
or image back anything you want now below this card view we can have a linear layout make this 0 TB for the width and wrap content for the height the orientation is a horizontal so by the way let me let me just show you what I'm trying to do we want to design this section now the title with the price so let's do that so we make this horizontal and then we can actually add a margin from the top make this 35 db now we can add the constraints so top to the bottom of this card view we can actually give it a name so let's say id card image product images or, or uh, product not products here we can add that id then we can say start start to the parent and and end to the parent then we can add margin start 10 db and margin end 10 db close this linear layout and now we want to put our title on here so we can say text view it's gonna be wrap content wrap content I'm gonna give it a weight of fun now we can add style we're going to add the h3 style let me show you that as you can see here we have this font we have the color and we have this text size now we can add text style bold and we can also add a text to preview that so let's add land of coding for example anything actually and that's it for this text let's give it an id in here let's give this id let's say tv product name now on the right side of this linear layout we're gonna have the price so let's do that we're gonna copy this one paste it in here and we want to make this at the right at the maximum right so we can just remove this weight and we can change the name in here to make it TV product price we also can change the text style here and just remove this uh, we can also override the color and change it so we can change it to gray 700 and let's just change this text to $600 for example or this will actually look like this now we want other text view for the description it's not shown in this product so let's actually go to another product neither this one uh, maybe this one and as you can see yeah here's the description so when I add that below the title let's actually do that I'm gonna copy this one because it's gonna be the same and I'm gonna paste it in here then we're going just to change the ID make this product description and we can also change the constraints so this will be to the top of the bottom of this linear so let's add an id for this one so anything in here actually linear title price add that in here and we also need start to the start the same with with this linear layout we can now reduce the size so uh, the size of this one is 12 sp so text size 12 sp we can also make this bold now next we have this line so let's actually do that this is just a simple view so you can say if you not this one make this 0 db and for the height make this 1 db then you can give a background gray 700 then you can specify the constraints top to the bottom of the description and we can also add margin start 10 db and from the end 10 db we can also add margin from the top now I can see that the color of this line is a little bit dark we can uh, we actually have another color called G line I think this one just choose this and this should look better now 
Okay, now let's move to the uh, next part, the colors and the size. So this will be inside the linear layout. Let's create a linear layout. And let's make this 0 dB and drop content in here. Make this horizontal one. And we can now add the constraints. So start to the start of this text view or of this line. Or we can just make it with this text view. So let's actually do that. TV product description end to end with the same one. We can add margin from the top make this 20 db and we also need this constraint top to the bottom of this line so we can just add an id in here call this line we can put that below of it like this now you can close this one and we can now have our color text view so we can just copy this text view and put it for the color text view in here and we can actually override the text size 15 SP uh, in here we actually made a mistake let's just change these constraints and make them with a the line so like that now let's change the ID of this text view make it product color or colors add text in here make this color and we can change the text color to black we also can change this actually let's let's actually make it uh, let's actually just remove the text size so it will be 22 by default and we can also add a margin for this one or we just can add a margin for the parent layout the this linear layout just to increase this size the size of the margin and make it 30 now below this color we want to have our soccer view so that's why we need to create another linear layout in here Grab content for both, make this uh, vertically, or just change the orientation to vertical, close this, and we just gonna copy this, put it in here. Now, below this text view, as we said, we're going to have a recycler view for the colors. So here we can say recycler view, wrap content, wrap content, and we can add an ID for that, RV colors. Now we want to do the same thing for the size of cycle view. So copy all of this, paste it in here. We first want to change the ID of the sticks of view. So make it for the product sizes. So product size, change this to size. And we also can change the ID of this cycle view to RV size. Now, as you can see, both of them are close to each other. We can add a weight for each linear layout make this one and for the other linear layout this one make it give it a win of, uh, give it a weight of one and now for the add card button we can actually go to the login fragment and copy it from there because it's going to be the same so this one copy it get back in here paste it in here we're just going to change the constraints and the id so for the id this is button add to cart for the constraints top to the bottom of this linear layout so on the top here we can add an id for this linear linear product preferences and in here we can pass that id now start to the start of the same one and to the end of the same one let's scroll down as you can see we have our button in here now you can add a margin from the top and make this 45 db and we also want to give a little bit of margin from the bottom and make this 20 db this margin won't work until we add the constraint from the bottom so let's go in here and add bottom to the bottom of parent now this margin should work like this okay guys that's it for this video i don't want to make it longer nothing interesting in this one we just designed the product details fragment in the next video we will set up the adapters for this one so we're going to have three adapters one for the view pager and other two for these recycle reviews then we're just gonna set the products data into this fragment 
all of that is going to happen in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I wish you a great day and I hope to see you in the next one.